Hi, I'm Rich Bowen. I'm the community manager for the CentOS project. We have quite a bit of news this month. We have released a new version of CentOS Linux 8. The new release is based on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.4 and is tagged 2105, which represents the month in which that version of RHEL was released. That's available now on all of our mirror servers. If you participate in any of our IRC channels, you need to know that we have moved those from Freenode to the new Libera.chat platform. I'm not going to go into a lot of the details about what happened on Freenode. You can find out in your favorite search engine. Suffice it to say that we felt that moving over to Libera would be the right move for our communities. And so any of the channels that you were participating in on Freenode have now moved over to Libera.chat, and we look forward to seeing you there. Special interest groups, or SIGs, are an important part of the CentOS community. They're a place where you can do stuff on top of CentOS itself. At this month's CentOS board meeting, we'll be considering a new SIG, the KMODS SIG, or the Kernel Modules SIG. This new proposed SIG will focus on providing kernel modules that are not currently available in Red Hat Enterprise Linux and, by extension, in CentOS Stream. Exactly how that will work will be decided over the coming months in the meetings around this SIG. If you're interested in that aspect of the operating system, we encourage you to attend their weekly meetings or engage in that thread on the CentOS Devel mailing list. Last month, the board of directors approved the CentOS Stream Feature Request SIG. And this is a group of people that will be shepherding feature requests from the community through the approval process so that they can land in CentOS Stream and eventually in RHEL. If you're interested in contributing changes to CentOS Stream, this is the group that you'll be engaging with to help get those changes approved or to let you know ahead of time if some of those changes are unlikely to be approved in RHEL. For more news around the CentOS community, we encourage you to subscribe to our CentOS community newsletter mailing list, or to read it on the blog for additional details on all of the things that I've covered here today. If you're interested in getting the news through video rather than through our newsletter, please let me know in the comments that this is something you want to see me do every month. I'm Rich Bowen, and this has been the June 2021 CentOS News Update.